Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me, and welcome to your June monthly readings for each and every zodiac sign, yeah? Um, if you've been following me for some time, you know that I use, I was doing readings bi-monthly for the zodiac signs, but that has become too taxing, okay? It's a lot, a lot of work, and I have a lot going on um, in life, so I have to really pull it back a little bit. So instead of doing bi-monthlies, I'm just going to do it once a month for each zodiac sign. However, I am adding some extra oracle guidance into the readings. And this is something that I've been wanting to do for some time now. I'm really, really excited to bring this to you guys. For this month, I will be pulling, I will be using, um, you know, the traditional Tarot deck. I have the Arcanum deck that I'm using this month. But then for Oracle Guidance, I'm going to be pulling Action Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns by Cordelia Francesca Brobs. I love this deck because mainly I love, I just love unicorns. And then we have um, Spiritual Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck by Alana Fairchild, okay? I'm, I'm really so happy to be doing it this way. Um, I actually wanted to add Oracle Guidance into it for some time now, but because it was bi-monthly and it was so much work to begin with, I didn't want to make the readings longer um, and take more time than I had to. But now because I'm doing this, you know, once a month, I'm definitely going to be keeping this Oracle Guidance in. I may switch it up. I think I am going to stick with the Crystal Mandala Oracle for spiritual guidance, but I may change over when it comes to action, uh, physical guidance from the oracles. Okay, I am available for private readings. Um, all of the information for that is in the description box below. So if anything resonates with you and you want to get a deeper understanding of it, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can email me and we can chat a little bit and I can schedule you and all and everything like that. Um, payments are through PayPal. I will send you a uh, an invoice from PayPal and we can do that. As soon as payment is secure, I will be able to uh, schedule your reading officially. Um, and just in case anyone was wondering if you are in the New York City area or you will be in the New York City area anytime soon, I am still doing readings at Om Shanti Bookstore. I'm sorry, bookshop in um, Manhattan on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. The website is in the description box below. Um, if you do want to get a reading with me there, I highly recommend that you call ahead of time and schedule the reading. I am there every Monday from 11 to 5. Um, scheduling it that way will ensure that you get your reading um, at the time that you want. Otherwise, if you walk in, you know there's a risk that I may not be available at that moment or whatever, okay? Please keep in mind, guys, that these are general readings, all right? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And please do not try to fit something in where you know it doesn't belong, okay? If something doesn't resonate with you, just let it go. Um, and also, if you know you're in the reading and you're getting in there and it does, it's not really resonating with you and you've been watching it for a few moments and it's still not resonating with you, just move forward. I do encourage you guys to check out not only your sun sign, but your moon, your rising, and your Venus, okay? Your sun sign um, is, you know, it is like the main thing, sure, but then watching your moon and your rising, at least, can help you get more information. And like, if you don't resonate with your sun sign, then you might resonate with your moon and rising. And then also, if you're looking for love guidance, I would highly recommend that you check out your Venus sign, okay? You could not, you may not resonate with any of them except for one, you know? So like, just check it out, see how you feel and see what resonates. And I believe that's all, yeah. So without further ado, let's get into the readings. Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the month of June. First, I do want to apologize to you guys for basically missing the second half of your birthday season. I really, really apologize for that. But, um, you know, I I was going through it. <laughs> so it was better for me not to do the readings um, because I was in such a uh, low vibrational state. And it was better for me to work myself through that so that I could come out on the other end and be better so that I could continue to do these readings. So I'm just going to extend a happy birthday to you guys. I hope you had a great birthday season. Um, and I love you all. And I'm excited to get into this reading for you guys. Yeah. So let's do this. All right. Okay. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Geminis. Sun, 
Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Gemini for this time period of June 2018. Yeah? Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What's going on for you, Gemini? I just heard clear the air. So I wonder if some of you are going to be communicating about something, hashing something out, I guess, if you want to say, or just reconciling in some way. There's a lot of white energy around you. I'm seeing, which to me could be, <clears throat> it really could be like divinity. Uh, but in some cases, I'm kind of seeing like smoke. Like you've been surrounded in smoke um, and now you kind of want to clear that away. We have, okay, we have the Four of Swords in reverse. So coming out of uh, a respite, um, coming out of um, a contemplative state, um, maybe, my ear is ringing, maybe there are some of you that have been resisting. I, ha I did pick that, pick that up a little bit. There is, there is a little bit of resistance of um, taking a break and, you know, meditating on something and, you know, clearing your mind. Um, and maybe that's where the smoke is coming from. You know, some of you are clouded and you really need to meditate, you know, take a mental rest in order to <laughs> clear the air. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. For the most part, that's what's going on here. But there are some of other, some others of you that have actually already done this and now you're coming out of this four sword state. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Oof, wow, we've got the Ace of Swords in reverse. Mm -mm -mm. And we've got the Five of Swords. So Gemini, for some of you that I'm connecting with here, you're still very much caught up in this Five of Swords combative, destructive, lose-lose energy. Why? Because you are not heeding the advice of taking a rest. Okay, and as a result, you feel like um, there is no way you can reconcile. There is no way you can reconnect. You do not have love for this person or this situation or whatnot. But also what the Ace of Swords in reverse is saying, honey, you got it all wrong. 33, 33 on the counter, you got it all wrong. And the reason why you have it all wrong and you're so stuck in this Five of Swords energy is because you refuse to listen. You refuse to go within, clear the air, clear your mind, and see things as they truly are. I'm feeling heartbreak with the Ace of Cups. And what that's telling me is it's self-imposed because you're keeping yourself in this Five of Swords energy, which is keeping you feel feeling like you cannot or will not have a new emotional start with someone or maybe some situation. I'm literally seeing somebody pouring out their Ace of Cups out of spite with this Five of Swords energy because the Ace of Swords is in reverse. So they're seeing things as it not as it is not in all truth. And they refuse to take the time to clear their mind and work towards seeing something the way it, it really is because they know, I'm sorry, I'm getting frustrated now because this energy frustrates me, but um, they know that they've got it all wrong and they're gonna have to admit defeat. And that's really unfortunate. And I'm sorry, I'm not trying to get my own emotions into this, but situations like this are something that, <laughs> that are um, something I've dealt with a lot in life. And so when I, when I see this happening to others, it just tears me apart. Anyway, let's get into the storyline. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse with the world. Okay, excellent. So this is a good sign. Cycles are coming to an end. Cycles of... Um, I'm saying, I want to say overindulging. And this could be overindulging in substances like food, alcohol, drugs. Um, but what I'm picking up is overindulging in negative energies, negative emotions, um, the cycle of victimhood. And I know exactly what this feels like um, because 
for me, as I was growing up, I became so accustomed to victimhood and victim mentality that it started to feel good to me, which is why we have the nine of cups here in reverse. And it's in reverse because this is not a good thing. It's almost like an addiction, like an addiction to victim mentality. But it's coming to an end. And that's good. But the Ace of Swords needs to be cleared up. This is directly related to seeing a situation for what it truly is before this cycle can be completed. Thankfully, the world is upright, okay? So you actively are working on completing this situation, even though it may not look like it, even though it may not feel like it. It's happening. We have the Three of Pentacles, so working together, okay? Camaraderie uh, with justice in reverse. So I feel like there are some people around Gemini that are saying or giving you the impression that they're helping you rebuild, but I feel like it's just injecting some more injustice into the situation. This could also be, with justice in reverse, it could be the process of bringing justice to the situation in the sense working with others um, to help rebuild a situation so that justice can be brought. What I am picking up here is there is some justice that could be coming up in the near future, maybe in June, maybe a few months from June, maybe three months from June. Um, there could be some sort of reconciliation because we do, this is falling right under the Ace of Cups. And what's happening here is there, there are some outside influences that are helping you, Gemini, or, or helping someone around you, Gemini, um, see things differently. Try, I think, like, kind of put, helping turn this Ace of Swords around, turn it upright so that the truth can be seen for what it truly is. And then from there, justice can be served. Okay. Next, we have the High Priestess in reverse. This could be secrets coming to light, but it could also be not listening to your intuition. Yeah, it's not listening to your intuition for the most part because we have the King of Pentacles. And in this situation, the King of Pentacles is so practical and so grounded and down to earth that he's kind of saying intuition. The fuck is that? I don't need no, I don't need no fucking intuition. I've got my logical mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, look at what that logical mind is doing, Gemini or someone connected to a Gemini. Ace of Swords in reverse. Without the help of your intuition, without the help of taking a break and meditating and clearing your mind, clearing the clutter, you are being stagnant. You're being controlling. You are way too focused on the material. You're way too focused on how things seem on the surface. So now you're in this like egotistical state, like I'm not gonna budge, super, super stubborn. But also that is an effect of not wanting to see the truth of how your actions have contributed to the situation. Next we have ha, the magician in reverse, manipulation. Um, but I'm also picking up manifesting something that you don't truly want. In essence, the magician is with, yeah, the Hierophant in reverse. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, but what I'm picking up here is there's, there are manipulative actions that are causing, that, uh, that are coming from not listening to your higher self, not listening to your inner truth, not wanting to see eye to eye, not wanting to see the truth of the situation, because then that means that there are things that you have to clean up yourself. And it's like you don't want to admit it. It's like you're so ingrained in the patriarchy, in the societal view of things that you are really manifesting something that really is not worth it. It's not something you even want to be manifesting to begin with. With the, manage with the magician in reverse, it's like you know for a fact, I'm picking up this energy that you know for a fact that this is not what you want for your life. But you're so ingrained or someone is so ingrained in the dogma of societal values that you can't see the forest for the trees. The magician is screaming out, this is not something I want, but you almost feel stuck. 
because with this King of Pentacles energy, you have so you adopted this so much that this seems to be part of you, and so now you're being stubborn about it. Mm. Next, we have the Seven of Cups, indecision, illusion, wishful thinking, with Seven of Wands in reverse. So, okay, all right, cool. So someone could be laying down the defenses. But in laying down the defenses with the Seven of Wands in reverse, now there are a bunch of different possibilities coming into play that you don't necessarily know what to do with. And what I'm picking up here is um, these are different ways to go about rectifying the situation, but you don't know which one to choose. But ultimately, this is a good thing because, you know, you're laying down that fiery, passionate, rah, rah, I'm right in favor of, I guess, seeing things differently, which is mostly depicted as the the um, the hanged man. But I'm also seeing, in this situation, I'm seeing the Seven of Cups is trying to figure out, you know, trying to see things differently, trying to figure out how to approach the situation, the best way to approach the situation. Okay, next, we have, oof, the Empress in reverse with, ah, the lovers. So, um, give me a second here. I'm picking up, well, obviously this is a choice and actually this is you, Gemini. Okay. Cause the lovers is a Gemini card. Um, so you're showing up in your reading. Wonderful. Nice to see you. <laughs> but we have the Empress in reverse and that's a little... That, that's a, a message that's a little more obscure for me. I really, I'm picking up some sort of motherly energy, possibly, that could have been manipulated, manipulative, um, and you're making a choice to choose your own direction other than what the, what this empress energy, this mother type energy, could just, it not, doesn't have to just to be parent, uh, a, a mother, it could be parental as a whole. But it's just some sort of nurturing energy that has been kind of, misplaced or used in a way that's not beneficial and so now there's a choice being made with the lovers to go with what the individual's heart wants instead of what the family taught them maybe or the people that were seen as nurturing figures in someone's lives was teaching them to accept again this is a pretty obscure message but that's really what i'm picking up here because the Empress is about fertility and even pregnancy, um, abundance, nurturing. But with the Empress in reverse here, I'm picking up some sort of nurturing that was not beneficial. In the end, though, it did serve to teach somebody what it was they truly desired in life. And is allowing them to now nurture that instead of going for what they were told to go for or taught to go for, okay? Next, ah, we have strength. Excellent. So you could be dealing with a Leo. You could also be dealing with a Libra with justice here. Um, but strength, and this to me is strength to move forward. You know, move out on your own path, on your own with your own desires in mind. Um, it could also be the strength to go within, take this time to clear your mind and see the truth of the situation regardless of what it shows you. Yeah. Strength is coupled with the devil. Okay, but now we're talking about some pretty egotistical behavior. This, uh, strength can talk about ego and pride. And now coupled with the devil upright, there could be some ego flares, okay? Big ego flares. And this could absolutely be why you are, re someone, either you, Gemini, or someone around you, is refusing to see the truth of the situation, refusing to clear their mind, and is actively pouring out their Ace of Cups out of spite. I don't like that. Moving forward, we have the Four of Cups. And already I'm picking up that the universe is trying to help you. The universe is trying to bring forward some sort of truth or clarity or understanding for you so that you can get out of this state that this woman is in. You see how, how dejected she looks and sad and even confused? Well, hello, you've got the Ace of Swords right here, but you're refusing to see it for what it is. 
coupled with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Stagnancy. I'm not budging. That's what that card says to me. Stubbornness. Refu uh, literally, I just heard, refusing to see the forest for the trees. Actively choosing to stay in this Five of Swords energy instead of laying down the sword and seeing the truth and the light. Hmm. That's disturbing and unfortunate. I'm sorry I had to bring some uh, an icky message like that for you, Gemini, but I can only go off of what the cards are saying. So let's get into some action guidance from the unicorns, yeah? For the month of June. So, action guidance for Gemini for June. Best messages, please. This one. Healer. You have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer. Some of you are going through this situation because there's something that you need to heal from so that you can then turn around and heal others or help to heal others from a situ similar situation, all right? Um, I'm do I am picking up two uh, energies that's just way too much in the practical. And this is why, and this is represented by the King of Pentacles coupled with the High Priestess in reverse. So practical that you don't even wanna see the possibility that you are a healer. Like, I felt that come out and I read it and I felt the resistance around it. And I heard someone or a, maybe a group of people be like, a healer? The fuck is that shit? Just like when the high priestess came in reverse came out and the king of pentacles came out, it was like, intuition? The fuck is that? I don't need no fucking intuition. I've got my logical mind. Look, you are really only hurting yourself there. You are closing yourself off to some to a greater truth of your about yourself of yourself and you are cutting yourself off from something that you actually need to be doing here in this world. I'm gonna read this again. Healer, you have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer. And actually, I want to read what this has to say in the book. So that we can get some more messages here about this. I'm, 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 I haven't been, I don't always read from this book because I, I don't necessarily need to. The cards are pretty straightforward, but I feel like there are some other messages in here. You are a gifted healer with powerful psychic or intuitive abilities. This card has come into your reading to encourage you to deepen your self-healing journey or to develop your gifts and take them on an even higher level. I'm sorry, take them to an even higher level. It hasn't always felt safe to be magical and powerful. Your physical body and aspects of your soul may hold memories of being persecuted in past lives or of abusing your powers in Atlantis. These are examples of how influences from previous incarnations may cause you to doubt your gifts or shrink from your abilities. You may find it hard to talk about what you do or to, quote, own your brilliance. You may struggle to put value on your services or charge for your gifts. This magical unicorn encourages you to trust yourself and stay true to your beliefs and your divine purpose. The magic you hold can make a great difference in the world when you trust yourself to use it for the greater good. Believe in yourself and your healing abilities. Go out there, shine your light, and let your heart guide you to become the magnificent healer you came here to be. All right, look, something else is coming through that I really want to share. Those of us that go through some pretty traumatic things in our lives, some pretty extreme circumstances and situations. If you are someone that has dealt with that in your life, that is a very strong indication that you are in fact a healer because you are meant to rise above that and then take the wisdom and the knowledge that you gain from those that or those situations and help others with it. You don't have to be a Reiki healer. You don't have to be a doctor, a surgeon, blah, blah. No, but you could just be a healer by sharing your story. By helping others relate to what is going on in their lives. Bringing your wisdom and your knowledge forward, communicating it, expressing it. 
And that way it helps others deal with their lives and boop, you're a healer. All right? It doesn't have to be some crazy esoteric spiritual thing. It can be very practical, King of Pentacles. It can be very practical. And it just could be you sharing your story. But in order to do that, you have to rise above it. Okay? Finally. Oh, wrong one. We're going to get some spiritual guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck here. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. All right, best messages for Gemini for the month of June. Here we go. We have number nine, Archon Barbello and Picture Jasper. Support. Yeah, it's fine. Support. Sorry, I'm shaking. <laughs> if you noticed that. I'm shaking, but there's a lot of intense energy going on. Um, already, I'm picking up that you have support around you, um, but some of you are refusing to take it on. This is also card number nine, um, so it symbolizes endings. But let's see what the book has to say. Support. We bring you the gift of support. -hoo -hoo. Please excuse my shaking. <laughs> Um, our support is available to you on all levels. We offer spiritual support of inspired ideas, unconditional love, and divine energy. We offer psychological support as we assist you in upgrading your belief systems to ones that enhance your ability to fulfill your divine destiny. We offer emotional support through spiritual friendship, unconditional acceptance, and unlimited compassion. We offer physical support by providing for your material needs for nourishment, shelter, security, and safety. We are able to support you with peace and with prosperity in subtle and very practical ways. Notice how much easier it is to live your life with courage when you know that no matter what, you shall be provided for and what you need is only ever a prayer away. My ear is ringing. I, I swear, I've been doing these readings today and my ears have been ringing like crazy. But anyway, side note. But for you, Gemini, or for someone that is cross-watching for a Gemini or someone that you're connected with, it doesn't matter. This is a message for Gemini for the month of June, okay? And it's saying that you, you have, just like the book says, you have the support at your disposal. But you have to release your ego with the devil and the strength cards here. You have to release your ego. You have to surrender, Okay? And I'm not saying that whatever situation that you find yourself in is all your fault. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I am saying, though, is you need to step out of your own way, get out of your own head, get your head out of your ass, and look at the situation objectively. No situation that you find in with anyone else is a one-way street, okay? Even regardless of whether or not this person, some other person did something shitty to you, you still have a responsibility for something in that relationship or in that circumstance, in that situation. And you need to be able and willing to look at that objectively, to see something for what it truly is, but then to let it go and not hold on to this Five of Swords energy out of spite just because you wanna fight someone or get back at them. Because ultimately, ultimately, that's just gonna hurt you in the end. All right, guys? So there it is. Much love to you, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to connecting with you for the month of July. Yeah, take care. Much love. Bye.